Welcome to Dot Foods in Dyersburg, Tennessee. As the nation's first and largest food industry redistributor, Dot Foods 11 distribution centers serve all 50 states and over 25 countries. Family owned and operated for more than 55 years, Dot takes pride in developing innovative solutions for manufacturers, distributors, and operators. The process to offer and distribute over 100,000 items in less than truckload quantities takes an organized, efficient, and smooth running operation. We load and unload over 100 trucks each week, so our warehouses and docks are always bustling with activity. And then loaded forklifts running the aisles present many potentially dangerous situations. However, these are a constant in a busy distribution center like this one at Dot Foods. Dot Foods prides itself in an amazing safety record, and your safety is one of our primary concerns. The video you are about to watch covers the safety procedures of this distribution facility. Every visitor to the facility must adhere to these safety rules. All visitors, every contractor, all invited guests, and all visitors from other DOT facilities must watch this video in its entirety. This DOT facility has many unique areas in its buildings. Each of these separate departments has its own safety regulations and safety concerns. It's important that you heed to all of these safety procedures. As you tour our large facility, which comprises over 162,000 square feet under roof and 46 acres outdoors, there are different safety concerns of each of these areas. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss each area and its unique safety issues. Smoking is not allowed in any of the buildings or around any doorways. There are dedicated smoking areas in the front and the rear of the building. Please adhere to these smoking rules during your visit. Dot Foods does not allow visitors or contractors to carry any containers of liquid, coffee or drinks while in the warehouse or shipping areas of the building. You will be asked to dispose of any drinks you have with you when you enter this facility. Cell phone use is limited to the office areas only. There are offices throughout the complex and you are welcome to use your phone in these areas only. In the event of an emergency, please remain with your escort. Your escort will lead you to the correct shelter or evacuation exit to the rally point outside the building. It's important to remain with your escort at all times as taking role of all visitors and contractors takes place during an emergency. In the event of a fire emergency in our buildings, you will be alerted by this audible fire alarm over our public address system. If you hear this alarm, please remain with your escort. Then you will evacuate the building at the nearest marked exit. Follow your escort to the posted evacuation area outside the building and remain there until an all clear is given by Dot Foods management. It's imperative that you follow these rules as Dot Foods will check names off a list to make sure everyone has evacuated the building. When bad weather, such as a tornado, has been detected in our area, you will hear this audible message over the public address system in the building. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A tornado warning has been issued for this area. A tornado warning has been issued for this area. Please proceed to the designated tornado shelter area. If you hear this bad weather alarm, please follow your escort to the marked tornado shelter in the building. There are two tornado shelters on our property. They are located in the men's locker room in the main building and also in the men's locker room in the truck maintenance garage. When you arrive at our facility, it's necessary to follow our check-in procedures properly. Each visitor or contractor needs to follow our check-in procedures on every visit. Do not go to any of the drive-in gates first as the security guard will not let you in without a badge. The guard will send you back to the main entrance of the complex where you can sign in properly. You will need to show identification and will be asked who it is you need to see. Our front desk person will assist you with the process of signing in. You are also required to watch this video as part of your first time orientation. Once you have completed this process, the person you have asked to will come to escort you to where you need to be. When traveling through our main storage warehouses and shipping areas, it's important to watch for trip hazards. In a facility like ours, trip hazards occur frequently as pallets break and chip, leaving small pieces of wood in the aisles. Plastic wrap often falls from a pallet stack and can create a trip and stumbling hazard as well. Be aware and watch for these hazards. Your escort will remove them and place them in the proper disposal bins as you travel through the warehouses. 
There are places where you need to be aware of where to walk and where to stop and look both ways. Our forklift crews travel the aisles quickly to load and unload trucks and often are not aware that you might be coming around a corner from a blind spot or coming through a blind doorway. Please watch carefully and always be aware that you are not walking in their paths of travel. DOT has implemented a safety rule called the Three Bay Rule. This rule means that a forklift that is loading or unloading a pallet in the aisle must be given a clearance of three shelf bays for safety. Be aware that there is always a danger of something falling from these higher storage shelves when they are being loaded or unloaded. There are many automatic doors that separate the room temperature storage areas from the cool storage areas. These doors are to remain closed at all times except when a forklift or person needs to pass through. Do not do anything that will cause any of these doors to remain open for any length of time. Overhead loading doors in the truck loading docks are also to remain closed at all times. In some areas of this facility, you will need special protective gear in order to enter. These areas include the freezer areas of this distribution center. The temperatures in our freezer reach minus 7, and you will be required to suit up before entering. This protective gear will protect you from the cold temperatures in our freezers, and entry is not permitted without it. There are always trucks and trailers being moved around outside in the lot and also around the loading docks. There is also activity on our back lot where our drivers store their trailers between deliveries. Be aware of these moving vehicles as you move about the parking lot and dock areas. Our truck maintenance building houses our on-site mechanics. This truck repair facility has its own safety issues with trip hazards, overhead dangers, and moving vehicle threats. Keep your senses sharp as you move about our facility and be aware of how busy our distribution center stays. Your safety and awareness of all of these issues keeps us all safe. Our goal, as always, is to keep our distribution center accident free. In 1960, Robert Tracy founded Dot Foods with the support of his wife, Dorothy. They both knew that if their company was going to be a success, it would have to be built on a strong foundation. So, immediately they instilled a set of values within Dot Foods that has not wavered in over 50 years. Safety of employees and visitors was included in the set of standards from the beginning, and Dot Foods is proud of their amazing safety record over the years. In partnering with us as a visitor or contractor, we hope you find yourself proudly working within the ethics we put forth every day. Trusted values, innovative solutions, shared growth. We live by this at Dot Foods. We hope you enjoy your visit at our facility.